Welcome to the Rap Race to Five podcast, where we discuss money, mindset, real estate investing, and ways to achieve financial independence. Whether you are a rookie or a veteran needing new ideas for investing or creating side hustles, you're in the right place. Here to challenge you to think out of the box, your hosts, Felipe Mejia and Diego Corzo. What's up, Diego? Super excited for today's guest. This is our business partner, friend, but someone we've known for less than a year. He's done $1.1 million in e-commerce space last year. I can't imagine what he's going to do this year. He's helped over 150 people open up Amazon stores, eBay stores, uh, make second sources of income. He's a genuine dude. Has a, a He's just a gentle spirit, he, but he's an awesome, hardworking guy. Yeah, Felipe, and I'm very excited too because he shares his story about how he started, but not just like how he started in e-commerce, but his when he first got here at age 13 to the United States and how it was something like completely new and, uh, and the struggles that he had in the beginning all the way till now being able to travel to China, for example, for just 120 bucks and all the credit hacks that he shares and the e-com, the drop shipping. So I'm very excited for this podcast. I feel like the audience is gonna love it. So let's get to it. Yeah, man, there's a lot of really good nuggets in here. So make there, make sure that you stay tuned all the way through. Uh, he dropped some bombshells at the end, some credit hacks, some just a bunch of hacks. So anyways, just make sure that you stick around uh, and let's just bring Christian in. Christian, dude, this is probably going to be one of my funnest podcasts that I've done. Uh, super excited to have you here at Rat Race to Five Podcast. Uh, you're a friend of mine, business partner. Uh, we, we've only known each other for a year, which still just blows my mind. Not even. Uh, sorry, Diego. What's up, dude? How are you? <laughs> what's up, Philip? I'm here in the background like, yeah, I'm here too, bro. <laughs> yeah. But like, like you said, we've known each other. Well, Felipe, you and I met in 2019, and then I think we met Christian in May 2020 uh, or April. That's when we started talking, um, and yeah. Yeah, and, and it's crazy because Christian has a wild story uh, of what he does, his investing. Now, this is Rat Race to Five podcast. It's not just real estate, uh, so we're going to be bringing in guests that are kind of diverse, but... Christian, I want to hear your story. Uh, uh, you know, introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? I mean, talk to us. Yeah, thank you for having me, Felipe. Thank you for having me, Diego. So my name is Christian Trujillo. I was born and raised in a little tiny town in Colombia. I came to United States when I was 13 years old. Without my mom, without my dad, I came to my aunt and my uncle's house. And coming from a little tiny town where there was no traffic lights, we, I didn't know about hot water until I came to the United States. So I would always take showers with cold water. Um, I didn't know about tortillas because we don't eat tortillas in Colombia. So it was a whole new world for me. You know, just from the moment that I got off the plane and I went from the airport to my, to my aunt's house, just going in the highway. Uh, 65 miles per hour, you know, it's like 100 kilometers. I was like, oh my God, are we racing? Then we got home and they opened the garage door with a clicker. And I was like, this is a different world. This is amazing. So it was just a whole new, I felt like I came to, to it was like a new life in a way, because I felt like at 13 years old, I was moving from being a, a kid to, to a new world and a teenager now. And without my parents, that was the biggest challenge. So I've been here for 17 years. I'm 30 years old. And I have a lot of stories since the day I got here. But right now I do run an e-commerce business. It's a million dollar company. And I've been helping other people make money online for the past year, year and a few months. Cool, cool, cool. And you also own now, you own how, how many properties? Yes, so I have four single family homes in Augusta, Georgia with my business partner, Felipe. And I also built that triplex in that little town that I was talking about in Colombia. Once I got the opportunity to invest, I bought the lot. I hired the architect. We built it together. And it, it was basically making that visual dream that I had in my mind come true. And it was just an amazing feeling of, wow, like I saw this in my head and now I can touch it. 
and, and that was just amazing when I finished it. That's that's really cool because uh, I remember when we first met, you had said, uh, "Yeah, I'll teach you ecom. You know, let's trade knowledge." And and you and you show me real estate. And I feel like a lot of the times, what people do is they try to change or trade their time for money. Uh, and, and that's you know being reading the rich dad poor dad book. We know that it's better not to do it that way. And it sounded like you were more interested in the wisdom of real estate than just giving you money to teach us e-commerce. So I think that's a great strategy. Now you moved to the United States when you were young. Uh, give us a little bit of a story there. What what happened? I mean, did you did, did you speak perfect English? You knew exactly what you're doing, and you were raised in a million dollar mansion with tons of money, right? Is that how it happened? No, no, not at all. So I came to United. When I was 13 to the States, I didn't know how to speak English. I mean, I knew how to say, my name is Christian. That's, that's all I knew how to say because that's what they taught us in school and in Colombia. So my aunt and my uncle, they were doing fine until 2007. So I came in 2003. In 2007, they, like a lot of people, they lost their house. And then we ended up in a one bedroom apartment it was my aunt, my uncle, three kids, and myself. So it was six of us living in a one-bedroom apartment. I was, I was also going to high school. And it was rough just because I didn't know how to speak English. And I eventually transitioned into that. I know how to understand it, but I can't speak it. And then, you know, I got more comfortable throughout the years. And because my aunt and my uncle, they lost their house, I had to help out. So I was delivering newspapers on my senior year, every single day from two to five in the morning, coming home, getting ready for school, and then going to school all day on my senior year. And then at the same time, uh, because I did come with a, with a visa, my visa expired, and I was really into school. I, I was uh, a student, I got 4.0, except my last year, my senior year, I got a C in math class, and that ruined my, my GPA. But I was really excited to go to college and study engineering. But because I didn't have the right documents, I, I couldn't afford taking loans. Well, I couldn't take loans in the first place. And I, I couldn't take a lot of scholarships because I didn't have the right documents. And then when I was 18 years old, I mean, I didn't even have a license. So at 18 years old, I went to Washington State because it didn't require a social. And I got my driver license from Washington State. Mm -hmm. Then I flew back to California. I used that license as an ID in the States. Then I was able to work through my papers. Then once I received my green card, I enlisted in the Air Force at 23 years old. So at 13, I came to United States. At 23, I enlisted in the Air Force. And that's when I knew that I didn't want to have a boss. I didn't want to have telling me, I didn't want to have someone telling me what to do, what time to wake up, what time to go to bed, what time to eat, what time to work out. So I told myself that I was going to be my own boss. And right after boot camp, I started doing my research on how to make money online. And since 2013, I have been making money online. That first item that I sold on eBay made me $4. It wasn't much, but it was huge accomplishment because I made the money from my laptop. They didn't have to go to clock in or clock out. And then I turned those $4 into $1.8 million in sales that, that I did in one year, 2018. That's, yeah. that's, that's a wild story. I kind of, kind of got stuck there for a minute. I was like, whoa, like just, cause you've told me this story before and I really wanted to get you on the podcast because I think it's important to tell your story um, from, from beginning to end and how you like grew up and what you did and the struggles that you came behind it. Uh, and you were using e-commerce to like fund your, I mean, it's, it, it gets even better. So I can't wait to dig into it more from traveling to like how many countries and everything else you do. So we're going to dig into all of that, but can you tell us really quick the importance of what e-commerce has done for you on a 30,000 foot scale? And then we'll get into some stories about uh, how you've used it to fund your life. Definitely. It was hard at first just because people, at least for my family, they didn't believe that you can make money online. Like I said, I was from a small town. And when I was 10 years old, we had to go to like an internet cafe and we had to pay to use a computer for about an hour. 
right? So then coming to the States, I had unlimited internet. It was dial up with AOL and it was super slow, but you know, throughout the years it got with better speed. And when I started making that much money online, I knew that I can do it in any place in the entire world. All I had to do was to pick my laptop and have Wi-Fi. And that's what I did. I started traveling because at the same time, I hired people in the Philippines and they would manage my business. And my job was basically to take care of the financial part. I would receive payment, make payments, maybe sometimes call eBay, call Amazon, or take care of the tracking numbers. And then when I was making a few thousand dollars a month, I moved to Mexico. And that was like the best part of my e-commerce experience because I was literally renting a studio out the window was a balcony with ocean view. And I was paying like $250 a month making 10,000. Um, I was actually like 11, between 11 and $15,000 a month from my laptop. And I would still take the bus to go to the gym. I would still eat with the locals. I would just, I was enjoying my life at, at that time. That's awesome. That's awesome. And hey, one one of the things that I did want to share too with you, Christian, is um, like you you have had the success that you have now with e-commerce, right? From making that first sale of four four dollars in in your pocket, and you're like, holy crap! But you did have to go through a lot of the struggles, just like you mentioned earlier, right? Like going to another state to get your driver's license, like figuring now getting a lot of no's. Um, especially like from the university, scholarships, all of that stuff. And I bet you that like at the end of the day, like what the the question that I have for you is like what made you go from like all of those challenges that you had to actually say, you know what, I'm going to figure this out on the Internet and see what happens. Like from going from just not even being able to go to school, college, whatever. Yeah, I knew it was possible because other people were doing it. And I always have that saying that if someone else does it, I can do it too. And maybe I can do it even better. And like you said, I got a lot of no's because of school, because of my paper, paper, paper situation. And one, one story that I have very clear is that once I got my, my ID, I, I actually got a job. And then I got fired from the job because they figured out that I wasn't really supposed to be working there. So I, con- I went back to school, to a community college, and then I did a two-year program to be in aircraft maintenance. And once I finished that, that program of two years, I was ready to, to get started on the field. But then I found out that I had to take an FAA exam, Federal Aviation Administration exam. But because I didn't have those documents, I wasn't able to do it. So I felt like two years of my life going to school, getting ready to get out and do what I wanted to do with was to work around planes, just went down the hill because I couldn't take that exam. So I was really disappointed with that big no. And then I was like, there's got to be a better way. And, you know, back then I was 17, 18 years old. I, I figured out about affiliates. So I became an affiliate for a company and they were paying me a couple of dollars for doing some campaigns with them. And I knew I could take it to the next level. And then I was able to talk to other people that were in the industry. I bought courses, I bought mentorships and I never gave up. You know, there's always a point where you feel like giving up. And I also lost money in one of my ventures on e-commerce, but I was able to go back and and take take over ecom so let's talk about that real quick because that's interesting concept that you say uh mentors you've lost money and uh you you've invested in yourself so how important is that do you think you would be where you're at now without your mentors without investing in yourself without the lessons you learned by losing money uh talk about the pivot point and those important factors in your life yeah i wouldn't be here without mentors Feel like they're necessary and what i did to to lift myself up was to do self-improvement activities so i will listen to audiobooks i will read motivational books and i will also do studies on people that were successful 
And I figured that a lot of them had those same struggles. You know, they had their ups and then their downs. And having a mentor is like creating a shortcut of where you are and where you want to be. So you don't go through the pain because they, they will tell you what to avoid and they will tell you what to focus on. And sometimes you find good mentors. Sometimes you don't really find good mentors. And I was willing to take the risk of investing in myself, making payments, buying courses, paying one of my mentors. He charged me $2,500 for two hours. But I was willing to make that investment for myself just because he was where I wanted to be. And he didn't teach me everything that I know now, but he taught me a lot of a lot of the things that I know in the e-commerce world. And because of him, I was able to find out that I can have a virtual assistant in the Philippines manage my e-commerce business. So that $2,500 for the two hours, my biggest takeaway was virtual assistants. And since then, I, I built a team. I had nine virtual assistants working my e-commerce store, and I was maybe doing one hour a week of work. So... For all the naysayers, Christian, no, you can't make money online. That ship has sailed. Uh, there's no one out there making a million dollars a year, uh, you know, selling selling e-com or, or selling uh, products online, uh, or it's a big risk. You know, can you can you give an example of what e-com is and how it's still very alive today? Yeah. So one of those big people or group of people that didn't believe that I was able to make money online were actually my family. Uh, my mom, she went to university. My grandma, she's, she was a teacher her whole life. And I grew up with her. So she told me to go to school, like a lot, of, a lot of us, go to school, graduate, look for a great job. If I can possibly work for the government, I should definitely do that, look for that pension. But the thing is that because of all of those struggles, I had to find different ways to make money. And my goal was to prove my family wrong that was one of my big motivations. And once I started making, like I said, a few thousand dollars a month profit, I went to Colombia and I flew my entire family to Cartagena. That's like the coast of Colombia. And, and then I sat down with my mom and my dad and I told them, this is paid by e -com. This is paid by online money. And, and that moment was like, I don't want to sound mean, but I, I was like, I told you so, right? Like, like I got this. Even though you didn't believe in me, mom, I, I did it. I didn't have to go to school and I don't have a job. I don't have one nine to five or I, I don't have to cl clock in or clock out. And e-commerce has given me the freedom of doing what I want when I want it. And whoever I want to do it with, I'm able to fly anywhere that I want to go to. And at the same time, still make money. And now my parents, they... They support me. They don't believe how it works. They don't understand how it works, but they know it works. And yeah, because of that, I was also able to build that triplex in Colombia that I was telling you about. So I want to backtrack. What is e-com, Christian? What, what is e-commerce? What is drop shipping? What do you do? Yeah, great question. So e-commerce e is basically online commerce. And what... I do is drop shipping. Drop shipping basically is selling a product that you don't physically have. So you post pictures and descriptions on a website. This could be eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Facebook. And people are buying the pictures because you don't physically have this product. Once, let's say you, Felipe, you, you find that guitar, right? And you pay online. I receive that payment. And then what I do is I go to my supplier and I buy that guitar with your money and I send it over to your house and there is a spread. So I make profit on the item that I sold that I never had. So that's what is that's that's what trap shipping is. And that's that's what I've been doing since 2013. So you never actually own the product yourself you essentially take in an order from a <clears throat> go buy the product from b and you you basically just check the transaction and the delivery process to be successful and then you make money in the middle yes sir so exactly 
That's exactly that's, what it is. And that's what's, awesome. what's what's really cool about that too, uh, for for the audience here, is that it doesn't require cap like very much capital to get started because you're using quote unquote you're only ordering products of people that have have already paid you quote unquote again. Um, so instead of like doing other things like FBA uh, or where you are ordering products, let's say from Alibaba, like from, from China and then storing them, spending twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to ship them here and then sell it with drop shipping. You, you can travel all over the world. And as long as you have internet, you can order one thing from one website and order it from the other one. And that's it. So, so that's really cool. And it makes it easier for anybody to get started from that perspective, which is why we started too, because we, we've been uh, drop, drop shipping, thanks to you, Christian, since I believe May or June of 2020, after like coronavirus and all that started. Um, and it's been great. So thank you for showing us that. And we've, we've grown our store now. We've sold since like in the last year, in the last 12 months, um, 11 months, because it hasn't even been a year yet, we've sold over 100,000. I think we're like 130,000 now. Uh, worth of product so so it's great so thank you what are the returns on on e-commerce christian what is realistically what people can expect because i know what we've done um but what have you seen is it 10 percent, 20 percent? because yeah uh, you know we want to be transparent we've sold you know over a hundred thousand dollars worth of product but that doesn't mean that it's a hundred thousand dollars worth of profit um and what what i like about the business and i'll let you answer but what i like about it is it's automated i send a couple messages in the morning i pick up a couple gift cards and that's all i do all day then the rest of the day i'm like what do i do now so what um what are the percentages that you're making on these on these uh stores it's about 13 percent on average for a product that i sell online when i first started i was probably doing 25 percent 27 percent just because this was nine years ago or eight years ago. Um, but now there's been so many people that are into the econ world, especially with the pandemic in 2020. And that's why I started coaching because some of my close friends were affected by the pandemic. They lost their jobs or they were sent home. And, and I told one of them that I can show him how to make money online. So we literally just got on a call and I walk him through step by step. He started posting it on Instagram. People started reaching out. And then I started teaching a couple of friends. It was a community that, that I had built together. And they were all people that I knew. Then I met you guys because one of my neighbors from 2014 was in your rat race community mastermind. And she reached out to me asking if Felipe could talk to me about e-commerce. And I was like, yeah, definitely, of course, I would love to help. And it was funny because when she sent me that message, I was riding a bike looking for properties to buy in Sacramento. And I'm a huge believer in the law of attraction. Uh, I believe that what you focus on, you attract and you become who, who you think you're going to become. And I felt like I attracted you. I was like, man, I wish I knew more about real estate. And then my friend sent me a message saying, hey, here's Felipe. And then I get on a phone call with Felipe and he's a, an investor. So like you said, nine months or less than a year later, I we own four properties looking to get a 16 unit apartment complex. And it's just amazing the power of networking. And it, it is all about who you know. Yeah, Diego, Diego taught me a good saying at the beginning of this year. It's not... Uh, it's not like what's your next deal or what's your next move or what's your next hustle, but it's about who is your next who. And that's really crucial because that kind of solidifies your story of like, I was your next who and vice versa. You were my next who into our next business passion. And now we've built, you know, a couple of very successful companies through that. So, so yeah, absolutely. I agree a hundred percent that it's, it's about who is your next who, which is something Diego taught me and it's the power of your network, right? Your network is definitely, um, your net worth. So, so moving on from there, you have this great business, you have your great, this great store. You've now started showing people how to do it. What is next for e-commerce? So you did, um, you're doing Amazon, but what's, what's, what's next in the pipe for e-commerce? Walmart. So I started with eBay. Like I mentioned, I was probably doing 23 to 25% ROI on my sales. 
Then I moved into Amazon, did the same thing, and I'm still doing it, but now the profit is about 13%. But with Walmart, we are looking at, again, the 23 to 25% return of investment that I was doing back in 2014 with eBay and back in 2015, 2016 with Amazon. So it's the perfect timing to get started with Walmart because they don't even have an iPhone app or an Android app for the sellers. So it's perfect timing. So you've seen you've seen eBay evolve, you've seen Amazon evolve. So I'm assuming you're you're you 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 have a pretty good idea of how Walmart is uh se va como se va a desarrollar, right? You're going to see how it unfolds. So how do you how do you foresee Walmart unfolding? The e-commerce space of Walmart yeah, well, they definitely want to compete with Amazon. They now have Walmart Plus, which is which is like a two-day free shipping membership that they offer. And they're also accepting sellers like Amazon is. So Amazon's got over 3 million sellers, and there's less than a million sellers on Walmart. So they're definitely on track to compete with Amazon. And it's all about timing, right? We, we are at the right place at the right time. And I have the experience for the past nine, 10 years, and now I want to help other people be and do what I'm doing because it's lovely to make money online. So I believe Walmart is going to be right under Amazon, and I don't know if they're going to be able to overtake them or not, but they will definitely compete with Amazon. That's that's really good. So the next position is going to be to jump into Walmart and uh, start building that e-commerce store. So it's an ever evolving, ever alive uh, thing. And right now you have Amazon and you're, you're definitely exploring and you're going to succeed into um, the Walmart space. So I know that you do some other things though. I know that you, cause I know you, um, I know you do credit card hacks and I know you do travel hacks and hotel hacks and every other hack that I can ever think of. I swear if we've ever had a problem, right, Diego? We've been like, Christian, is there a hack for this? <laughs> yes, exactly. Or he just sends referral links after referral links or save a discount code or something. And it's always like, hey, we, we need to create an account for this. And he's like, yeah, here's here's a discount code. And I'm like, how do you have hacks for everything? So it's good. Talk yeah. about that. Talk Share about that, some. Christian. Yeah, so in 2017, I went to a mastermind in Vegas. It was, it was a really expensive mastermind for me uh, because it was about $10,000 for just one day. But I got to meet great entrepreneurs, successful people in my eyes, right? And I, I noticed that a lot of them make a lot of money, but they have ways to save money as well. And some of those ways to save money is knowing people. So they, they were sharing me a story that they get the benefits of a airline employee, which means they get to travel for free. And they also get the benefits of hotel employees. They will get 50% off or even more than half off on their hotel stays. And then they use all these credit card points to, to buy everything else or even stay at better hotels. And with e-commerce, I, I do so much money in sales that I have added one of the high rewards credit card to my account. And basically everything that I have is, is paid off by points. And I was also able to get those benefits of an American Airlines employee. I was also to get a benefit of Marriott employees. And now in, or in 2018, I, I traveled to about nine different countries. And if I were to add up how much I spend on tickets, that was over $69,000, but I pay less, less than 10,000. And I was flying first class. I flew first class from Shanghai to LAX in a flat bed in the plane. And my ticket was $173. Dude. And it's amazing. So growing up from uh, living in a little bitty town in Colombia, to flying first class flatbed from Shanghai to LAX is uh, it's pretty incredible. And it's all due to the power of, I've heard you say it's e-commerce, but but I would say it's it's more of the power of you investing in yourself because that in itself 
is a power that I don't think many people have. A lot of people, whether it's limiting beliefs of they don't think they're good enough, like that's what that was my biggest limiting belief. Uh, whether it's um, you know not having the the guts, you could say, to invest in yourself like you did. Did uh, your mastermind that you went to to learn some of these things has paid for itself 20, 30, 40, 50 times over. And that's something that we teach because all three of us, Diego, uh, Christian and I teach e-commerce to other people. Um, it, a lot of the times like, no, I don't want to invest, you know, five, 10, $15,000 to learn or have an e-commerce store created for me that a virtual assistant can handle. And, and it's such a short term vision because six months down the road, the e-commerce store is going to pay your investment and then you'll have that store forever. Yeah. Yeah. And one, one thing too, um, just like Christian shared, he, he spent $10,000 for one day, but it gave him the opportunity later, right. To have those connections, to learn about how he can fly to China in freaking like for just 120 bucks. Uh, but people may not see that in the beginning. People may see, oh my gosh, you're paying $10,000. Like I had an opportunity like that. Um, I paid $2,000 when I was 23 years old um, to meet some of the guys in GoBundance. And um, for me, it was an incredible experience, but I had some of my friends were saying, do you're gonna pay 2000 bucks and your flight and everything? Like, is that like an MLM? Do you even know them, right? And it's that sort of like, I believe too that you attract the people just just like you said, and if we're able to trust that we're investing in ourselves in connecting with the right people, you never know uh, who you're gonna meet and what conversations are gonna come up and what ideas you can execute. I agree with that. Uh, you guys both talk about the power of attraction. I think you guys are doing something wrong though because you guys attracted me. So I don't I don't know how well your power of attraction is working. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dude. good, dude. And yeah. what's what's good too? I mean, at, at the end of the day, um, and and it's good that we, right? We we have a couple of things that that we do, whether it is with credit repair, e-commerce teaching. I believe that with the three of us, we've we've sort of found what we're good at in the partnership, and we are able to actually capitalize on those skills. So, and that's very important, especially when you're creating the partnerships as well. I agree hundred percent. So Christian, quick fire questions. How many countries have you been to? 25. 25 countries. That's ridiculous. Honest question. And you can say pass if you don't want to answer them. How much did you make last year on e-commerce? Over six figures. <laughs> that's ridiculous. And all this from your laptop and, uh, you were living in Mexico and all this, this, this is crazy. Um, so you said the future for you of e-commerce is Walmart and you're going to continue into that. You still have your Amazon stuff going. Um, why, why real estate? Cause I know that you're, you're, you're wanting to kind of venture out into some real estate and uh, a lot of our listeners are doing that. So can you talk about why you want to do real estate? What piqued your interest? Uh, you know, just all that. Sure. So growing up, I always had two goals. My main goal was to travel around the world and that's what I've been doing. And my second goal was to have properties all around the world. And if I'm able to fly to Mexico, Peru, Colombia and have my own condo there, that, that will be like my I made it moment, right? And so I started with Colombia, the place that I grew up. I already have a triplex there. So now I'm investing in the United States. And why do I want to do that? Because there is always a need for, for a place to live, right? Housing is not going to go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. E-commerce, that is going to explode to a point, you know, but then there's going to be so many people doing it that there might not be an opportunity to make as much money as we're doing right now. But with housing, there's people going to have to pay rent and people are going to need a, a roof over the head to live. So I feel like that's, that's kind of like the safe route to put my money on because it's not going to go anywhere. And, and my goal is, is to have multiple properties around the world where I can eventually take a private jet and just land in, in my condo with ocean view in, in Puerto Vallarta. 
Dude, I love Puerto Vallarta. Oh my gosh. I've been there a couple of times. I, we should, all three of us should collectively buy a spot in Puerto Vallarta and just be able to go there once uh, Diego gets, gets his stuff in order. But that would be amazing. Um, One thing that I would like to add here too, though, <clears throat> and what, what I do like what Christian was saying is that at the end of the day, sure, he was making, he is making all this money uh, through e-commerce, but he needs to store it somewhere. And in a savings account, it's not gonna do that. So he's looking at his money in a way of how he can continue to make it work for him, right? Uh, sure, he can live off, let's say he lives off 100,000, he has an extra $100,000 uh, a year, he can put that to work and use that money as his employees to be able to make him more money. And that's where I believe that's like the where the true wealth happens is when your passive income later, for example, is even making you more passive income. And uh, and I feel like Christian, as, as you're getting started, you have like a year, less than a year into all of this with real estate. And if everything goes well, you'll be at 20 doors pretty soon. And who knows what, what will continue to happen by the end of 2021. So it's really exciting that that you are making your money work for you in that way. Yes, 100%. I love and that because you. one of the things that Christian said also was like, or, or I can identify it this way, that like he knows how to make money online and now he's learning how to invest his money into rental properties. And I think a lot of people might either one or the other, right? Either they know how to make money, but don't know how to invest it or want to invest, but don't know how to make money. And it seems like Christian has figured him out both, which in turn, you know, creates wealth. You know how to make money, you i.e. then invest money. And then out of that comes wealth, right? Just residual consistent income is what really buys, uh, buys you back your time. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. And that's a great story uh, as to what you're, what you're building. Uh, and going forward. So Christian, going forward, is it safe to say that you want to continue in the e-commerce space, leverage that finance to buy more real estate? Yes, that's that's the goal. And it's all about adapting and overcoming. There's going to be obstacles in the way. Like I said, I started with eBay, then we'll move into Amazon. I'm still on Amazon. I still have my eBay store and I'm going to Walmart. And I know Walmart is going to get a little bit more strict on the way, but that's just that's just the challenge that we have to overcome. And a lot of people quit when they have an issue. So if they make a change in maybe the shipping rules or the returns, they're like, well, it's not worth it anymore. But those of us that stayed and figured out how to make it happen, then we, may, we will make more money because we found a way to make it work. I love that. Christian, uh, dude, thank you so much for coming to the Rat Race to Five podcast to giving us a little glimpse into your life and what you've done and how you've done it. You've definitely come a long way from a little town in Colombia to now owning, uh, I think we've talked one of the, one of the prettier uh, and larger uh, buildings in that town. And then now real estate in, in the South here in, um, in the United States, two very successful e-commerce stores, business opportunities. You're helping others with e-com, how to make money online. Uh, I think, I think that's awesome. If, if someone wants to like reach out to you and, and, and learn more about what you do and how you do it, where can people find you? Instagram, social media is probably the best platform on Instagram. What's your handle? So it's my name, uh, Christian with no H, Christian. Then the letter T for my last name, the number eight, and the letter A. So my, my full name is Christian Trujillo Ochoa, and in Spanish, Ocho, and then A. So that's why I have the number eight, Ochoa. Creative. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So they can reach out to me, ask me any questions. I do reply to all of my messages. I might take a day or two, but I do reply to them. Awesome. Awesome. All right. And his phone number is seven three. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Call him at midnight. Be like, hey, Call I want to open an Amazon store. <laughs> right. Well, that's that's awesome, Christian. Thanks again for your time, bro. Uh, super excited to have you. Any last words, Diego? No, well, Christian, I really appreciate your, your time. And I really want to say like a huge, like you have influenced me and Felipe, like with 
being able to create other streams of income, but also being able to help other people do it as well, which is a huge passion of ours. At the end of the day, we call this, and we call this Rat Race 2FI, and the whole goal is to help people create other streams of income so that they can achieve financial independence. And you're like a huge example of that. And now we're helping others how to do that too. So thank you. Yeah, I think we have helped about 163 people create an Amazon store and they have all made sales. So yeah. We're doing great. We are doing awesome. awesome. I love it. Um, my mentor always did tell me like the best money is the money you made by helping someone else make money. And if you can figure that out, you'll always have uh, financial backing. You'll always have friends. It's not a, it's not a, I win situation. It's how do we both win? Um, so yeah, I know Christian's doing that. So thanks so much, dude. Thank you for your time. We're going to get up out of here. The Rap Race to Buy podcast, where we discuss money, mindset, real estate investing, and ways to achieve financial independence. Whether you are a rookie or a veteran needing new ideas for investing or creating side hustles, you're in the right place.